Hello, I'm J.R. Moringer. I wrote a book called Sutton. Well, at the very time that I was finishing up helping Andre Agassi write his memoir in 2008, 2009, and I was thinking about what to write next, the financial world was melting down. And like everyone else, I was very angry, and I was looking for a way to write about that anger and to write about banks. And I don't know enough about the financial systems of the world to write about the systemic failure. So I thought about writing about banks from the point of view of somebody who targeted banks. And immediately, Willie Sutton popped into my head um, because he was the best at what he did. He was one of the greatest antagonists banks have ever known. And when I started reading about him, I discovered that he walked free for good on Christmas Eve, 1969, and he walked right into the arms of two journalists who got the exclusive of the, of the year, of the decade, and kept him to themselves for a day and drove him around New York and had him show them the scenes of his heists and his, and his heartbreaks and his escapes. And that's when I was hooked. There were two aha moments in the researching of the book. The first was when I discovered that it was a journalism story, that he walked out of jail after 17 years under heavy guard at Attica. And his first human contact exclusively was, the, was these two journalists and they had him to themselves. He sort of went from being a prisoner of New York State to being a prisoner of these journalists. On Christmas Eve, that was just so evocative. That was such an aha moment for me because I, I saw it. I could imagine the novel that, that could grow around that moment with the two journalists driving around New York. The other aha moment was when I started reading about what led him into a life of crime and discovered that it was love, that his first love was also his first accomplice. She led him into his first burglary, his first robbery, and then she disappeared. And there was an incredible longing in the way he wrote about her in his memoir, uh, a melancholy, a tenderness that really captured my imagination. And, and I thought, this guy was motivated by a lot more than larceny or greed or poverty. There was real love in the origins of his criminal career. Those two things together really made me feel him. And, and I could imagine inhabiting his character for an extended period of time. What is it about American culture that we root for the bad guy a lot of times? Well, setting Robin Hood aside, which goes back centuries to England, um, in America, bank robbers have been mythological figures forever because as I learned researching Willie Sutton, banks have been villainous forever. I mean, the founding fathers worried about banks as much as they worried about the British. Um, they fought bitterly about the role of banks in, in everyday life because they, there was an incredible fear of what banks might do to us. And that fear has been born true again and again and again. People remember 2008 and 9. Um, they remember 1987, 1929, but they forget uh, 1907, uh, 1893. Uh, there have been bank panics caused by um, the nefarious behavior of banks going back to the beginning of this country. And because of that, because this country has been thrown into chaos and turmoil by banks and by a system that's been chaotic, I think people have always looked at bank robbers as uh, people who are, even though no one would ever condone it, and certainly not me, they're people who sort of fight back. We live vicariously through their rebellion. Um, they're rebel figures. Uh, and, it, and you look at how many Bank robbers have made that leap from common criminal to folk hero, Bonnie and Clyde, of course, and Dillinger, and Pretty Boy Floyd, and Machine Gun Kelly, and Willie Sutton. I mean, there's an entire hall of fame of bank robbers. And I just think that that speaks to how we feel in the pit of our stomach about banks. Nowadays, bank robbers are actual bankers. We're more, we seem more upfront and honest about it. But in fact, if you go back in the history, Americans have been scared and angry at banks from the beginning. So naturally, we are fascinated in a kind of a dark way by, by uh, people who walk into banks and take money from bankers.